Hi guys, how y'all doing today? Welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah Wells. I'm a photographer based photographer and I'm the lead photographer at Photoville Studios. Um, yeah, today's video I'm going to be talking about my experience with the, A with the A7R Mark IV. I think I did a video of um, the unboxing when I got the camera and I just wanted to share my... I, I think I promised I was going to share my experience with the camera and yeah, I've used it for over two months now. So I think it's time for me to just talk about my experience so far. So if you want to know my thoughts on this, keep watching guys. Okay guys, so um, this is the camera, yeah. The A7R Mark IV. And I got it with a Sigma at 85mm. And at the time when I got the camera, till now I've not still gotten a second cam um, lens. When I got the camera, I only got one lens for the camera, and then I bought this adapter because I, I, I heard from the Sony representative that with the adapter, you can use your other Nikon lenses on the body, the Sony body, yeah? So, yeah, I'm going to talk about that much later. So, I have just this body and this lens, and I have taken so many great images with this camera since I got it. Now, the first thing for me about this camera, like, okay, backstory. I, I, I've used Nikon cameras all my life. I'm filming this video with a Nikon camera. Nikon cameras are still amazing. But then, at some point, I noticed that my images were not as sharp as I wanted them to be. They were not focusing fast enough. And if I take, let's say, 100 pictures, maybe 50 will be sharp. And the sharpness itself is not like, 100% sharpness is like mm, 80, 85, thereabouts. So I have to do a lot of sharpening in post production and all. So I just, I just got tired of not being able to rely on the body I was using. And I, I think I didn't, I didn't always experience that with the camera. At some point, maybe the camera just, I had overused it. I had sucked the blood out of it or something. I don't know. So yeah. I just decided, okay, I wanted an upgrade. I wanted a, a, a different, and I heard about the focusing and the, the sharpness of this Sony camera. That's even why I bought it. I was still going to buy a Nikon mirrorless camera, but I was having a hard time getting it in Nigeria. So I just last minute changed my mind and then got the Sony. And um, when I started shooting with it, I, I was almost regretting getting the camera. Please stay with me. <laughs> so um, I think I'm just somebody that is, I like to do something I'm used to. I, I'm not very, I, I just tend to do, I tend to stay in my comfort zone and just stay in that lane. And you know, so when I got the camera, it was pretty difficult for me to adjust because I wasn't used to it. I was used to shooting with Nikon. The colors just seemed really off. And I, ju I just kept saying, did I make the wrongest decision? And this camera is quite expensive. I could have just gotten the Nikon Z series or something. But I just told myself that the deed is done, so we need to look for a way to make do with this. And we started on trying to understand the camera. So I think it was because of the switch. That's why I had that initial shock of almost regret that initial re reaction of oh, is it, did i make a wrong decision i think it was just because i wasn't used to the body i was i wasn't used to the camera i was used to nikon the color scheme the color the everything of nikon so that initial shock was there but then i noticed that when i take my pictures if i take 100 pictures chances are that 99.9 .9 of them are in focus and they are sharp crystal sharp in fact the sharpness is um it's over sharp like you don't necessarily have to sharpen anymore when you're editing so that's like and that was my major problem so when i realized that okay this camera can solve that problem for me focusing is on points like it, it tracks the eyes so even when you're moving it's lucky focus and it's just it's amazing so now right now i can't even shoot with my nikon camera anymore i kid you not like i feel like ah no no but when I got it, I was still going back to my Nikon camera. I was like, ah, no, no, I'm not in love with this camera. Yeah, I didn't really like it then. But now I'm understanding it and it's been amazing. So sharpness, I give it like 100%. It's amazing. The colors are not as, um, okay, if I'm comparing this camera to my former Nikon, I feel that the colors for Nikon cameras are more 
I just prefer the color scheme. But I'm trying to edit my photos to still have the Nikon vibe that I like to still be in line with my style. So and I'm, I'm trying to strike the balance. I'm still struggling with that, but I think I've improved significantly. Initially, I just noticed that almost all the pictures had one green, greenish tint. And for the longest with my Nikon cameras, I do very minimal co color grading. I just warm up my images and I'm fine with them. But with this, I realized I had to go and start color grading, had to start reducing the greens, reducing the, the greens on the skin. So my work process just kind of um, got a little harder. But when the images come out, they're absolutely amazing. Like, they are so beautiful. You don't even have, like, the sharpening, you don't, you don't have to bother about sharpening. The colors are still very beautiful. It has its own kind of feel, which is also really, really beautiful. It's just that if you're using a different camera and you're moving to this, you have to be aware of this thing so it doesn't come as a shock to you or so you don't feel like, ah, did I do the wrong thing? Or am I not doing it right? You just have to understand it and then create images that try to to understand the camera and then try to to edit your images to suit your style to, to maintain the same type of color scheme you want you cannot use the same work process workflow you use for your nikon cameras for sony i don't i think with every camera maybe because i've just been using one camera since i started my photography i have never shot with anything other than a nikon camera so i'm not used to just changing how i edit and I have to learn, I have, I have learned it, I'm learning it, I'm still learning it. So yeah, that's another thing that I noticed about the camera. And I think if I'm going to give this camera, like, um, if I'm going to rate it over 100, I'm going to give it in 99%. That's how much I love it now. It's, um, it's really, 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 really amazing. I have no regrets whatsoever. I can't, I legit feel more comfortable shooting with it. I trust it 100% to even my Nikon. Now, don't get me wrong, Nikon has served me since I was born. <laughs> Not like since I was born, I started my journey. But I think my own Nikon camera it was is already maybe tired. So yeah, with time I'm always struggling to focus and all. So with, but with this new camera, like I can go to bed knowing that yeah, I'm carrying a solid camera to, to work. So that's been super amazing. Then one thing I noticed is um so when i was getting the camera yeah because all my cameras and all the lenses i've gotten over the years are nikon lenses i didn't want to switch to sony because of that like i was saying uh, that means i have to start getting new lenses for sony cameras i know and i learned the they had this adapter that you can use with your sony body and then use your nikon lenses on them wrong move please I wish I watched a video like this when I was buying the adapter. I bought the 80K or 85K, I can't remember. I think 80K. And I haven't used it since then. I tried using it. It wasn't, first of all, you cannot even autofocus with, with the, the adapter. You have to use manual focusing. And even when you shoot with the manual focusing, the images are not as crisp and sharp as the, the Sony is capable of giving you like the results of sun is capable of giving you so i, I just didn't like the images they're not sharp they're like 60 percent or 50 percent sharp they're not like crystal sharp like i would still prefer the sharpness of my nikon camera to the sharpness of the sunny body with the adapter and whatever lens so now i have to get i've been shooting this i've been shooting all my portraits with the 85 mm since i got it so when I have like group pictures, I have to switch back to my Nikon camera, yeah? So yeah, if you're getting the camera, try to get a native lens. Is You can either go for Sony, like the Sony lenses, or you go for the the um, the Sigma Art, the, 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 I think it's Tamron, those other companies that, that make lenses for the Sony camera. Yeah, so with this few points of mine, I hope I have been able to convince you and not to confuse you that you should also think of getting a Sony camera. If you are considering getting the camera, please get the camera. You will you definitely not regret it. You won't regret it. You, it. It's an amazing camera. I kid you not. It's an amazing camera. Image quality on point. Another con. Okay, so I'm sorry. This video is all about the place. But yeah, just take it like that. Another con. It's not a con, it's, yeah, you, the camera, it can be, the size, image sizes are pretty large. 
yeah so you have to get like big the, the, the capacity of your memory card has to be large and then storage space and all but of course if you're getting a camera like this you should factor all that in but i kid you not it's an amazing camera 199.9 percent .9 awesome so if you're considering getting the sony a7r mark 4 please get it and come and tell me so that we can shoot together right <laughs> Anyways, that's all I thought I should share with you guys. If I think of anything, if I experience anything in the nearest future, I'll let you guys know. So, thank you so much for watching my video. Um, this is the end of this video. But before we end this video, I want to ask you a question. Why haven't you subscribed to my channel? Like, why? Like, you're watching this video right now and you have not clicked this up. Is it that you don't want me to sell my market? Please, be good new. Please subscribe to the channel and then give the video a thumbs up. When you give the video a thumbs up, it just tends to help YouTube to know to to push the video up anyway. I think is that the right English? Whatever. Anyways, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share, tell somebody about it. Even if you are not interested in photography, just help my ministry be cool. Just subscribe, please. I love you. Bye. Bye guys.